here it is filter adapter filter adapter is in this it's going to go on the x100v then i can put everyday filter so gotta get this place set back up though NPF batteries are probably the greatest thing in the world because they're super fat, they're super long lasting, and I got I went for these these slightly bigger ones from newer. Came in a four pack, came with a charger, and they allow me to go completely cable free whenever I'm running that light with the little adapter for the Amaran 60D. So check it out. like that, we've got nice, soft, controllable light in the office. This looks great, right? Got the big Amaran 60D with the Aperture Mini 2 softbox, I think. I can touch it. It's real close, nice directional soft lighting, giving me kind of a little bit of a Rembrandt style right here. Camera's close enough for me to touch it. I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to, but enough, ooh, come, welcome back. Enough about the little setup. Let's talk about this camera. This is the X100V and it recently, had an upgrade. The X106 came out and it's it's an amazing camera, 40 megapixels. Overall, just a massive leap forward in terms of technology and what you're able to do in a camera this size. And I, I think it's, it's now more of a professional tool or it could be more of a professional tool just because of those two upgrades and the update in autofocus. So now very well, if you like, if you just love the 35 millimeter focal length, it very well could be a one and done camera for you. But that's not what this is. This is the X100V. This is the model year older, and it's amazing. I use this camera every single day for something. The pictures are beautiful. The customization of the simulations with the recipes are just are fantastic. That's why I bought this camera. So photography would still stay fun. And if you're hearing some excess noise, my wife is baking a cake, and my kids are just like moving furniture around. But that's neither here nor there. We're talking about the X100V and, and, the everyday filter from Polar Pro and Short Stash. Uh, whenever I first saw this collaboration was coming out, I was super, super stoked because Short Stash is an amazing photographer and the closer I can get to emulating his style a little bit while sprinkling some of my own style in there, that's, that's a solid win. And whenever I saw the price of this filter in comparison to something like the variable ND filter from Polar Pro and Peter McKinnon, it's like 250 bucks, this is $70. It's not a terrible price for an amazing piece of kit that you're going to keep on your camera all the time. And I went back and forth between buying it in the 49 millimeter that's going to fit the X100V or something more common like a 67 or an 82, which all the rest of my lenses are either 67 millimeter or 82. And the reality is it couples so well with the X100V just because this is my everyday camera. It's always in my bag, it's in my pocket or a little sling bag. And so the everyday camera is gonna get the everyday filter and the fact that this has circular polarizer and halation, diffusion, mist, whatever you wanna call it, it's got that in there in a very manageable, like subtle kind of way. That, that makes it a no brainer for me. So let's open this and get this situated. I've got you on a little tabletop right now. That it's, this is my desk. It's a very small desk. It's it's only about this big, and it, and it swivels. So anytime I pick something up, or put something down, the image is going to move just a little bit. So let's open this up. Boom! Right there. Polar Pro Everyday Filter. Is it upside down? <laughs> it's upside down. Oh well. 
get a nice little lens cloth. I've got a few of these, and the more products I buy from Polar Pro, the more I'm gonna keep getting lens cloths, so that's great. This, these are absolutely a must have, you, you, you need these. The Everyday Filter. Super excited, because for the first time, we're gonna check it out. Open it up. This is just a nice little storage case. The idea is that this isn't a filter that you take on and off all the time, but it's a filter that you would use all the time and stay on your camera every day, hence the name. So the case being huge, it doesn't have like the Defender style body cap like the Peter McKinnon variable indies, but, and just look at this. Look at how beautiful this is. Just this nice green olive type color. Before we put this on this camera, what the mistake that I've made was I bought the filter and didn't realize that I needed a filter adapter on the X100V, which it makes a lot of sense if you think about it because the, the lens actually goes in and out. But I didn't think that because I've got a, just a regular UV filter from Nisi on there. And I haven't, I haven't even touched it since I bought the camera. So we need the adapter. And that's what's in here. This thing is gonna allow the filter to actually go onto the camera. It's like ASMR, right? Hmm. Well, that's, that's it. That is it. Super simple process. So truth be told, I don't know how a circular polarizer works because I've never I've never used one. The only filter I've used is the variable ND filter, but I mean, it looks really clean. It's very small, very compact. Will it fit with this? No. So that is a bummer. It doesn't fit with the original lens cap. Uh, it's just, this is too big. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't love that the Hogue filter doesn't fit. Because like, so this, this little guy from Nisi is very, very simple, very straightforward, just a UV filter on the front to protect the, the lens, but it fits the original body cap. This does not, this is, uh, it's not as fat at the end as this is. So it, whenever I try to put it on, so I'm just walking around capless and I mean, great. I understand whenever I take pictures, I wouldn't have a lens cap on, but whenever it's like stored in my pocket for the most part, I had no problems because I had the UV filter on here. And so now I'm kind of intimidated because of what this is, because of this isn't just the Nisi filter that's that came with the camera whenever I bought it. It is, it's an expensive lens adapter. It's a defective filter. It's a high quality piece of glass that I don't want to ruin. Or I don't want to be ruined just because they didn't think to make it fit properly. I mean, that's not the worst. In the, it's not, it's not terrible. It's, it's really not. It's, I'm, I'm nitpicking and I know that, but I mean, when it comes to this stuff, like I feel like I have the license to, to nitpick because it's, so it fits a little bit better whenever I flip it. The other way where the threads are exposed on the filter side. It still, does, it still doesn't fit the, the lens cap, but and it's kind of, I'm gonna have to be very careful whenever I'm using this to not turn the actual adapter ring That's fine one way. Yeah, it's so loose on this. Mm. And we're gonna we're gonna make it work. Like I'm I'm still gonna use it. I'm obviously I'm waiting until the Polar Pro one gets here, but this is kind of the first look at it and it looks it looks sick. Like it looks it looks great. I'm super excited to test this out. Um, maybe I'll do that a little bit tomorrow. It's kinda late. We just had dinner, we're gonna put the kids down. My wife's like I said, she's baking a cake. But I mean, let's see. Let's see. So it's kind of hard to see. Let me just put it on a different recipe. Yeah, 
overall, I'm super excited to finally be able to use this filter because it's just been looking at me, taunting me all week. Not the most impressed with Haug just because, I mean, I know they didn't think of it with this particular filter in mind. They thought of it with their own accessories in mind, but I was really hoping it would be more accessible. You know what I'm saying? So this video is getting kind of long, but overall, I'm super excited about this. We'll show some pictures coming up real soon. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and jump over there because I got my son's birthday coming up. We'll be going to Philly next week, going to Liberia at the end of May. Um, a lot of stuff coming up, really coming up out of nowhere. So we're staying busy. We're going to take this with us everywhere we go. All right. If you like this video, subscribe for more because we're going to be having a lot of fun. I'm starting to take this YouTube thing a little bit more seriously. And not serious in like that we're going to be very, very serious about everything we talk about, but serious in the fact that I just want to do this uh, because I think it's fun. And if you can get benefit from it, if you can learn from it, if you're entertained at least, then win-win for both of us. So hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Okay, love you, bye.